Hey what's going on guys, it's Brian for GumballTech.com and in this video I'm going to show you my latest customizations on my iPhone. So I'm going to go back to the lock screen really quick and show you what I have there. So here's the lock screen, I'm still using lock info because it's amazing. A little overview, it lets you view weather, Twitter, RSS feeds, email, missed calls, voicemails, text messages, and a bunch of other things right on your lock screen. So it's really cool to have to see a bunch of different information at a glance on your lock screen. And then on the bottom we have tap to unlock. Instead of using a default slider I'm just using this tap to unlock button. You just tap and it unlocks your device. It also shows up as tap to power off as well as tap to answer a call. That usually requires Winterboard but I went ahead and downloaded the Debian package, extracted it, and put it the files where they needed to go. So here's my home screen, stock theme as you can see. Uh, I only have one page. That's because everything is down below. I'm using something called InfiniBoard to be able to scroll through my page or pages vertically. It's really smooth. What's sort of interesting about this is that when you unlock your phone, you get sort of a weird icon animation. Like that. Same thing goes when you're opening an app. The apps just sort of look funny. I do have backgrounder as you can see with the backgrounded app dots. Also have KirK down or KirK running, so I can switch between them. Uh, SV settings is still here. I'm using the neon theme. I don't think it's in any of the default Cydia sources, so I was able to get this from a friend, and he just sent me the files, and I transferred them here. Uh, still using QTweeter, the latest version, 3.02, for Twitter and Facebook updates. Uh, status notifier up there. I'm using the AT&T carrier logo. And that is pretty much it. Let me go to my settings to see if I have any other jailbroken stuff. Uh, InfiniBoard. Weather icon that's required by lock info. I don't actually have that enabled, as you can see, because it's not 73 degrees where I am. Uh, battery percentage, that's native. So that pretty much does it with all my latest iPhone customizations. Uh, lock info is the main thing that I like a lot. Tap to unlock, it's really convenient to just quickly tap and unlock your device. I never use a passcode or Android lock or anything like that, so not really safe, but oh well. So that about does it with this video. Leave any comments, questions, suggestions down below. Follow me on Twitter if you'd like, twitter.com slash bsweet. Also visit us on the web, gumballtech.com, for more stuff. So that, that about does it. So thanks for watching. We'll see you later.